Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying More Demos during the Steam Next Fest. This is the Book Walker. This game came out of nowhere. I heard nothing about it. And it comes out pretty soon, as I understand. Full game coming June 22nd. That's very soon. That's this week. Um, so I'll try and get this out before that. But um, I took one look at the trailer and I knew that this was a game for me. This game looks really cool. I'm hoping it lives up to expectations based on the trailer, but it's a uh, tactics game. You wouldn't know it maybe um, from uh, just this, but it's a, a game where you seemingly explore books and other narratives, and uh, there is some kind of tactics element to it. So I'm going to dive in. This is a pretty blind playthrough. We'll see. We'll see what we can uh, what, what we can find. But um, this it just like. I don't know it looked really beautiful and i i had to check it out um and i was i was glad that they were participating in the next fest so i could try the demo um i don't know i tend to do pauses if there's a long loading screen okay finally i'm home your name john book let me see here um do we have we don't we don't have reverse or invert y axis. No. Second game in a row I've had this problem with. Okay. Well, um uh, I know you you might be thinking, "What? This isn't a tactics game." Well, just hold on. Are you expecting anyone, honey? No, mother. Could it be the mailman? This early? Go see who it is. There's a man here, mother. Is the door locked? I don't. It's our neighbor, Henry. No, mother, the writer, remember? Don't open the door. He has no business coming around here. But what if he needs help? Is he injured or something? I don't think so. He just looks a little roughed up. He can take care of himself. You can't be too careful around these parts, even when the, when it comes to the neighbors. Fine. That was a lot of narrative for them not opening the door. This is the kitchen, which we can't get into. Kitchen is still a work in progress. It's been months. Who we'll hangs these here? Eviction notice. First confiscation of property, now eviction. Ooh. Hmm. Old stuff that belonged to the previous tenants. Can we get that pen? It looks like a... It looks bright enough that we should be able to take it. Hmm. Sounds like old man Henry is in the shower right now. So what are we doing? Going uh, downstairs? We exploring? I just came in. Anyone home? The apartment seems to be abandoned, but you hear footsteps behind the door. No answer. It's locked. I'd need a key. Okay. Random junk. It smells like dust. Alright, well, uh... We're just gonna kind of muddy through. I see some shady people hanging around here, uh, hanging around there a lot lately. Oh, what is this? Factory wasn't here yet back when they put up our building. No, they're, they're not going to do anything. The kitchen is still a work in progress. Okay. So what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sure hope I'm not going to get stuck. In the first five seconds of the game, I just came in. Yeah, but what are we trying to do here, though? What what are we trying to accomplish? This is one of those cases where I'm, like, gonna walk by the answer. Someone's planting seedlings. It smells like fertilizer. Can't do anything. Oh, what, what is that? Mr. Etienne Quist? How do Etienne? Etienne? I don't know how to say that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a reminder that you may begin working off your sentence at any time by registering with any licensed publishing agency. In the event you work off the full sentence, you will be released from the pre, uh, preventive measure in the form of shackles that impose writer's block on you. 
Any other attempts to remove the shackles other than those provided for by law will be considered a violation of your sentence and will entail consequences. Your sentence will be re-examined re with aggravating circumstances. City Writers Police Department. Oh, we can, oh, we can enter. Independent bookstore letter by letter has announced that it is pulling all of Etienne Quist's work from sale. The store owner, Raymond Fuqua, commented, uh, commented, unfortunately, Mr. Quist's writing license has been revoked. We sincerely apologize to his fans as Mr. Quist's books enjoyed a certain popularity. I do hope that Mr. Quist can solve the problems he is facing and that we'll have his books back on store shelves as soon as possible. All right, answer the phone. Hello? Silence. Is this Etienne? Yes. Vince asked me to get in touch with you. It's about your arrest. We usually offer a small loan to writers who have their license revoked with interest. Once you get back on your feet, you can... That's not why I was trying to find you. I wanted to know. I've heard you can break writer's shackles. Is that true? Breaking writer's shackles is one of the most highly punishable crimes under writer's law. Let's say that we can break them. However, the price for the service varies based on how complex the shackles are. Are you... are yours the standard two-year kind? No, my shackles are for... 30 years. Oh, Noise through the phone. Damn! I spilled my... hey! Get this out of here! My god, 30 years. I think we can figure something out, but the price will be, let's say, six jobs. I was told one, but Vince said it'd be a one-time thing. Vince should have warned me that he was sending me a particularly dangerous criminal. Have you done this kind of work before? No. Do you know what to do? Yes. Good. Your first job is waiting at the door. Okay. Thank you. Need to put this on the desk. Okay. So, wow. What do we have here? Potion of immortality? I have to steal a potion of immortality. Well then. The drop of infinity. So here we go. This is this is the uh, kind of the I guess we have a first person mode for level select in a weird way and this is our tactics um portion of the game so we've got we've got a quite an interesting duality of uh of, of genres in a way oof crunch oh damn it landing on a solid stone floor makes your bad knee twist awkwardly use ink to heal yourself you reach down and touch your bad knee you start visualizing the ink flowing into the injured joint and healing it. A sudden icy cold feeling eases, uh, seizes your wrists. Ow. I forgot about these stupid shackles. You examine the metal bracelets around your wrists and the writing etched on their surface. Now I'm just as weak as a plain old character. You are unable to heal your knee. Force your knee back in place. You take a deep breath and sharply wrench your knee to the side. Crunch. Ouch, damn it. You bend your knee this way and that a few times, testing it. The crunching sound has stopped. Phew. Anyway, let's get down to business. I need to find the potion of immortality and take it out of here. We've got a skeleton, nothing but bones left, no potions. Take this prisoner's helmet. Wow, two heads. Caves of Cud. This is a really weird jail. Inspect and use found items in inventory. Okay. A heavy helmet spiked on the outside, smooth and foul-smelling on the inside. Doesn't look like we can do much with it. It's a craft part. We can't do anything with it yet. Can we grab these mushrooms? Can we craft mushrooms? Stuff! Contains 10 ink. They don't look edible. There's absolutely no reason to risk it. But, like, I gotta say, you know, this, this game looks amazing. I doubt the potion of immortality is just going to be lying around in an ordinary barrel. But, kick the barrel. You get ready to kick. 
Heck yeah, bud. Absolutely ruin that barrel. Grab that trash. Take it all. And uh, can we use food to regain health? How do we... Okay, we can eat this food. We ate the food. There's ink inside this trash, but how does one... Well, I guess we'll figure that out later. Small barrel. Crowbar parts. All right, I'm assuming we want to make a crowbar. Maybe? No? A lock picture would come in handy right now. Kick the door down. Bam. Ouch. Nothing happens except that your not-quite-healed knee starts hurting again. Oof. Yeah, okay, try hitting it with your head next. Headbutt the door. You hesitate for a second. Um, head it, headbutt the door anyway. Do it. Bam. With a rustling of paper, your head slips between the bars. It didn't hurt, but you aren't going to be able to pull your head back out. You're stuck. Are you done goofing around yet? Try to pull your head back out through the bars. Son of a... Your neck is stuck tight between the bars. Damn, use ink. You let a drop of your blood ink fall onto the bars. This part of the book is under your control now. You pull the bars apart with your bare hands. They move easily, bending to your will. At the same time, you feel your shackles starting to burn with cold. Oh, damn it. You pull your head free. Step away from the door. Well, we have it under our control now. A lock picture. Okay, step away from the door. Can we, we can't kick it down. Protruding stone. Oh, that was convenient. An old note. If you're lucky, they might test a potion of immortality on you. What is there to think about? Just say yes. Oh, there's a, a note on the wall as well. Name, Jason Little. Age, 28. Potion, P4. Causes unpredictable mutations. Results, unpredictable. Client, the kingdom of Ruver. Unknown use. Production volume one unit. Okay. Okay. There's certainly a lot to look at in this room. I'm pretty sure I had a lockpick or something like one at least. I need to get go back to reality and check my apartment. Oh? Hold to return to the real world. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. What is this? What is this? Looks like this is where the stolen item goes. Okay. What is this? An excerpt from a book review. I liked that the narration was from the point of view of the book's supposed villain, but the characters fighting against him just aren't interesting enough in comparison. I also enjoyed the ending, sappy as it was. The author of this book? We've got a lot of world building in detail. Ah, lockpick. We got some lockpicks. What else we got? What else could we uh, scrounge for? What is this? Oh, I guess uh, there used to be a photo there. Hmm. Neighbor across the way moved out recently. We could sleep too early to go to bed. I have work to do. What's in here? Bathroom is locked. I have to pay for water. Wait, what? What's that note? Mr. Atu uh, oh. Okay. That was a note we already read. Alright, let's go back in the book. We've got our lockpicks. Alright. Use a lockpick. You slowly test all the pins in the lock with your lockpick until you finally hear a click. Do we still have a lockpick? Yeah, we do. I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I always, always kind of rubs me the wrong way when lockpicks are so disposable. They're not, they're not really in real life. What the? Who's that? He's dead. Your gaze travels up the wound on the walker's temple. That looks like a bullet hole. The capsule around the dead man's neck starts vibrating and you hear a soft voice coming from inside it. 
Nice one, Sherlock. Examine the capsule. The capsule looks more like a cage with it with a little door. It's dark inside. Who are you? Sorry for interrupting you. You were saying something about my partner here? Go ahead, continue. He's your uh, partner? We were on our first job, but it didn't end well. I'm sorry. Hang on. Uh, who are you? A character? Yes, I think so, sir. But you know that you're a character? Of course. That's impossible. You try and use the light to illuminate the contents of the cage, but all you see inside is a scrap of paper. That's what all my past partners said, too. Past partners? How many have you had? I don't mean to brag, but apparently the walkers were very interested in my abilities. I fetched a considerable price, and quite frequently, too. And then I ended up with a partner who died. Right. Fortunately, I was then found by a new partner, and we started working as a team. Hmm. Wait, are you calling me your new partner? That's correct. I'm sure we'll work well together, sir. You look at the walker's body again. Take your new partner along with you. I'll hang you around my neck for now, then figure out what to do with you later. Wonderful, I'm back in business. You can talk to Roderick at any time. Right, so we can we can talk to Roderick. Let's talk to Roderick. Do you need something? What should I do next? At the very least, I would suggest you look around. Hmm, that's just what I was going to do. I just want to talk to Roderick. Look more carefully at the character's cage. You take the cage off your neck and start examining it again. What's wrong? Your cage reminds me of something. You turn it over and over in your hands until you happen to glance at your shackles where they're sticking out of your rolled up sleeves. That's it, your cage is made from the same metal as my shackles. What does that mean? I'm not sure, but I think that since this metal keeps my power contained, it's also keeping you from merging with the book. Merging? Yes, if a character goes into a book, they become part of it. I can get out, but it's, an, it's difficult even for me. An ordinary character wouldn't be able to. They'd also be influenced by the plot and forget about any intentions of their own. So this is a convenient way to transport characters. Definitely convenient. Taking a character out of a book without a cage like that would be a serious crime. You glance instinctively at the bottom of the cage and notice a few a new inscription. Serial number 27 of 200. Hmm. Okay. Um, I was under the impression, I might check this again. Turn-based tactics. We'll see. So far, I'm getting more point-and-click adventure vibes than turn-based tactics. You're standing in front of a cracked brick wall. Put your ear, uh, ear to it. Dead silence, but something tr uh, tickles your ear. You feel the slightest hint of an air current flowing through the crack. There's something on the other side. This is a sledgehammer's job. I agree, but there's no mention of one in this book. Are you sure? I've read it five times already. I'll go back to reality and find one then. Oh, you know someone outside of the book who has a sledgehammer? I mean, I can ask my neighbors. Not sure if they'll be happy to see me, but... My last partner was always complaining that he had no one to turn to in reality. That it was pointless to go there for help. That's kind of, uh, sad. Um, anyways, I'll be back soon with a sledgehammer, I hope. Alright, let's wake up. I, uh, I kind of hope that that, like, I like the animation of, uh, switching between scenes there, but I do kind of hope it quickens up, given some time. Okay, let's, uh, talk to our neighbors. I, they didn't really seem responsive to me the first time, but that's the kitchen. Nope. Excuse me, are you home? Knock again. Who's that knocking? I'm your neighbor. Would you mind opening the door? I need your help. Yeah, right. I'm an I'm no idiot. Get out of here before I call the police. So many unsavory types hanging around these parts. I just wanted to ask you. Do you happen to have a sledgehammer? A sledgehammer? Yes, there's this stubborn nail I can't hammer in. What kind of nail is it that you need a whole sledgehammer? Uh, it's a really big nail. Nothing but a sledgehammer will do. I just need it for a few hours. I promise I'll bring it back safe and sound. Damn, fine. Let me go look. Noise. Noise! Here, just don't break it. Take the sledgehammer. Thank you. That's a convenient way of not having to show people. 
I do wonder if we're gonna get meta with this game. Like, am I in a book right now? That's always kind of how these things go, isn't it? You're always also in a book. Knock the wall down with your hammer. Bam. Hammer slips out of your hand a little. Your blow just glances off the wall. You s sense a stare hitting you from the capsule around your neck. You don't want him to start laughing at you. Hit the wall again. Boom. You hit the wall more confidently this time. The blow smashes through the wall, widening the gap enough for you to squeeze through. Ooh, we got uh, alchemy ingredients. We got we got weapons grade plutonium. Green salt. This looks like an alchemy ingredient. Burnt papers. Take them. I'm getting uh, I'm getting some uh, disco Elysium vibes, which is a really good thing. Um, we got some more food and stuff. Got a ske smash skeleton. They clearly didn't want him running off. Yeah, I'm getting more Disco Elysium vibes than I am from like a, you know, turn-based tactics vibes. But we'll see. We still haven't really fully explored this game yet. You see a key lying on the metal grate, surrounded by clouds of searing steam. Grab the key. Mmm, touch the key with one finger. The key burns your finger badly and you yank your hand back. The motion jostles the key. Ouch! The key falls down through the grate. Oh no. A faint clunk echoes from be down below. Why did you do that? How was I supposed to know it would do be that hot? You could have asked me. I already read this book cover to cover several times. What do you mean you read it? You can see the text of your own book? This isn't my book. Okay, but wait, so this means you know everything about this place? I can find anything you need to know in this text, and I can also warn you of any traps or danger. You turn and look at the dead walker. If that danger is described in the book. All right, so you know where to find the potion of immortality I'm looking for. Yes, it's in the alchemist's pocket. And where's the alchemist? You rub your burned finger. In this, uh, in his laboratory to the south. Great, we can forget about that key. I'll go straight to the alchemist. No need to waste time. Let's talk to him again, just real quick. What should I do next? Hmm. What is, uh... Oh, that was letting me know I can zoom in? No. Ooh, that's a big lad. You may drag some objects around. I can? I guess some objects. Not all objects. This one, for instance. Okay. 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 Yeah, sure. Is that as far as I can drag it? Got a bunch of stuff. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with said stuff. Craft parts. Rags. Scraps of once beautiful clothes, now only good for wiping dirty hands. Papers. Contains ink. Papers covered with undecipherable inscriptions. The author probably didn't want to write a description of what they mean. Burned papers. Quest items. We could restore some health. Let's do that. There's an ordinary power cable running through the hole in the wall. Hold on. What's a power cable doing in an old-timey jail? That's the power the book's big twist. I didn't want to ruin it for you. Use pliers to cut the cable. Throw caution in the wind and pull it out of the wall. Feel where it leads to. The cable extends far into the darkness. What's back there? You have no idea. Leave for now. I have a, a feeling that it's connected to this, uh... Oh, this. Maybe? No, it seems to be going east, so I don't think it's connected to this. Got some more crowbar parts. Can we do anything with those? Pieces of rusty metal awaiting their transformation on a workbench. The bed and mattress have been chewed straight through. The chain leads down somewhere. You could use something heavy as a counterweight to raise whatever's on the other side. Use the prisoner's helmet. Neat. We got some stuff. More stuff. Empty bottle. Glass vessel that could be useful for storing ink. 
once I once I get that crafting material, you just you just wait. The, the crafting bench. Uh, I think we're done in here. Did I check out what this thing was? I looked at all of this, I think. All right. We could go downstairs. Let's check that out. There's the key, but it's, it's in, in as much danger as it was originally. There's a workbench. Here we go. You see a worn out old workbench. You can make like tools here if, uh, if you need to. Yeah. Oh, I see. I, I think I could just, I can just do that now. Maybe. How does one do that? How, 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 I need instruction. Yeah, I, I would like to make tools, please. Ashes. Plant, dried up plant. Note. Greg, it seems the alchemist has sped up work on his potion. The corpses are hitting the floor one after another. Stay for the night, shift tonight. He promised to pay double. We got a boiler room. I was about to say boiler room and then it said boiler room. These pipes lead down to the boiler room. More stuff. More, more stuff. Not sure what all of this stuff is going to add up to. Oh, hey, we can move this. Crowbar parts. So some things can be moved and uh, reveal secrets. The, the hatch leads down to the boiler room. I thought this was the boiler room. Do you have anything you can use to pry it open like a crowbar? Where am I supposed to get a crowbar? They don't just leave crowbars lying around in places like this, you know? The last room had a decent looking workbench in it. You might be able to cobble something together resembling a, resembling a crowbar there. I'll give it a shot. Well, hopefully now that I've been prompted to, I can do that now. Craft something. Aha, here we go. So we can melt stuff for ink. Um, we need tools. We need tools to make a crowbar. We seem to need tools for just about everything. What in order to make a bottle of ink, we need ink. Um, pieces of metal to make pliers. So I'm, I'm assuming we're going to need to find some tools before we can do like make some crowbars. I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? OK, never mind. It's nothing. Uh, it's a really interesting looking environment, I have to say. More stuff. No tools just yet. Ooh, metal parts. Game seems shy about um, showing you or telling you that uh, things are there for you to pick up. You really got to kind of scrounge. Watch out. Huh? Did you hear that? What are you talking about? Uh oh. Okay, maybe maybe we are a turn-based tactics team after all. Choose one of the skills. Slash. Drain. Drain 30 ink, 1 damage. Or we can do 2 to 3 damage, and I believe that costs us ink. Or we can stun. 1 damage to all 30 ink. Um, let's do that. So they're stunned. You can see the enemy's next move above it. They're stunned, so we don't have to worry about that, maybe? You can use healing items once per battle. Um, let's drain them. Do some more damage. Collect some ink. They're gonna hit us. That was to be expected. Slash should take care of them. Very simple uh, moves for now. You were amazing. Thank you. Are you alright? Did that thing frighten you? No, no. I'm not. Uh, you try to appear unaffected. I've seen more of those spiders than I can even count. I just don't quite understand. What's a giant spider doing in this book? It's not in the text. It's an ink eater, you shudder. They're found in books, but
but they're not part of the plot. The older the book, the more likely you are to run into them. Why do they look like spiders? Apparently just to scare, uh, they can actually take on any form. Even human form? You shudder again, more intensely this time. Let's not think about that. I, uh, hope there aren't any more in this book. Got some more stuff. Can we get another helmet? How many people have been here? Oh, that's where we came from. Oh, I see. That's where... Uh, okay. This is the exit. Locked, too, of course. Try using a lockpick. You hear a crunching sound. Yikes, maybe you should stop. You continue probing at the lock. Crunching sound gets louder. Suddenly you realize the lockpick you're holding is now half a lockpick. I see how it is. Well, that sucks. I was not given an opportunity to stop. I would have. Yo, I love when games let me do this. Just like, uh, spam a sound effect. Uh-oh. Testing area, huh? Oh, now we're thinking with portals. What the? I told you about the big twist in this book, right? Hold on, what, where's the alchemist? Is that him on the chair? No, the alchemist went upstairs while you were busy digging around. Fantastic. A gun case. Missing a gun. Test subject and results of test number 26. Deceased, 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 deceased. Another workbench. Alchemy ingredients. Nice. Grab those. What is that? Purple salt? Blue sulfur. Lots of things to look at, maybe. Anything cool? More stuff. Health items. Always good. Oh, tools. Yes. All right. Let's, uh, before we go upstairs, let's, let's go and, um, check some boxes in, uh, other rooms. So we got, we got a lot of things going on in this game. We've got a point and click adventure. We've got a first person mode where you can go and obtain items and maybe interact with stuff in the real world. And we've got a turn based you know, kind of RPG system. Let's make a crowbar. We don't have enough pieces of metals to make pliers. I don't know if these uh, items are used for anything else. We could just melt them. And it doesn't seem like they're used for anything else. Craft a bottle of ink. We did it. And we have a crowbar. I'm gonna... Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave that key there forever. I just, uh... Open with a crowbar. I'm just... Uh, I'm wary of touching it again for fear it will fall down. It probably will fall down again. Pieces of metal. Nice. We need those. Furnace. There's something in the furnace. It's a crystal. Stop it with the spoilers already. I want to find out for myself. Fine. You are, you are, your arm definitely won't fit through the bars. Use the crowbar to grab the crystal. You poke the crowbar through and move it from side to side, but the crystal doesn't budge. Damn, I can't reach it. Try using ink. You let a drop of your blood ink fall into the bars. This tiny portion of the world is now under your control. Are you sure it's a good idea to use ink with those shackles on? Ah, the shackles start burning you with cold, but you finish your work before they can do any damage. I can handle it for a little bit. You pr pull the bars apart with your bare hands. Bars move easily, bending to your will. You'll never believe it. There's a crystal in here. Isn't that something, Roderick? You grin, looking down at the cage. Roderick? I've decided to call you that. It was a nice, uh, has a nice ring to it. S excuse me? I have a, my own name, you know. But you said you don't remember it. I never said that. So, do you know what your name is? It definitely, definitely had the letter H in it. Hugh? I'm not sure. I don't like the name Hugh. You're Roderick now. <laughs> Maybe I would have been better off staying with my last partner. They're dead. You can't, you can't stay with them. They're dead. Is there going to be a grate in this room as well? 
no grate. Okay, so that means that we could probably knock that key down the grate without touching it. I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're going to want to do that. I'm assuming what's going to happen is we're going to try and grab it and then it's going to fall down anyway. Key is in front of you lying on a grate again. Taking it should be no problem at all. Do we even need this key? It opens the front door, which is the only way up. So, you need it. I feel like there must be some kind of catch. I'm not so sure about this. You gently rub your fi burned fingers through your glove. I can check in the text if you want. Are you sure it's cool now? I mean, it was so hot not so long ago. Ask for help. All right, can you check just in case? Of course, I'd be glad to. You roll your eyes. Here it is. The key isn't hot. You should be able to pick it up just fine. Great. As soon as your fingers close around the key, a wild howling echoes up from the depths of the, of the jail. Your hand shakes, and the key, as though waiting for the opportunity, falls out of your grasp and down through the grate. Bah! Who the hell is that? It's better you don't know. I saw, I saw that one coming. That was foreshadowing, you know? It's a good um, and popular writing method. Grab that. You see the key lying on the solid stone floor. There's no grate for it to fall through this time. Something feels off. I don't know. Could it fall through the world into the back rooms, maybe? From here on out, I don't... I trust no one. Not you with your little book or anyone else. Pick up the key. You take a deep breath. Slowly, carefully, you pick up the key from the floor. You suddenly turn your head, looking all around you for signs of a disturbance. The room is still, uh, still and silent. You finally have the key. It's covered in ashes and quite cold to the touch. Well, you can never be too careful, right? And most importantly, we can now open the front door. Uh-oh. This is an interesting extra twist going on in this game. What the? Again? So it's not a real gel? It's real, but stop. No spoilers. Fine. I like that our main character is invested in the story. Containers filled with ashes. Certainly there's going to be something in here. No? Bullet casings. Okay. Greg, I saw someone in the crematorium, oh, sorry, crematorium last night. Either a thief got in somehow, or one of the alchemist's immortality experiments worked. In any case, be careful. Empty. Stuff. I think we can make uh, some pliers now. What's up? You sensing something again? Yeah, whatever's up ahead is not pleasant. If you have anything you can use to heal yourself, I'd do that now. Got it. Lower level storage. An old letter. All the stored jewels and food shall be given to Victoria Brahman. Victoria of Brahman. Daughter of Esmond III, and no more than three days. After no more than three days, Alchemy Master Alexander of M Mishia. Uh-oh. Ooh, spicy. Stun all enemies. Let's do that. Also does a lot of damage. Um, we could drain some ink. But I honestly think we should just try and kill one of these. So we take less damage. Because we're going to take damage no matter what. Um, and then let's... Can we not... Can we not slash? Can we only drain? Oh, does it take... I guess it takes ink to uh, do a slash. My bad. Missed. I mean, both of them missed. Nice. Let's get some more ink and kill this spider. And then we'll do a slash to kill that last spider. Nice. Got some trash. Got some stuff. An ornate chest in among the ordinary wooden boxes catches your eye. Open the chest. You grab the lid, but you can't lift it. Hmm. I think it's locked. Use a crowbar to pry off, pry off the lid. Try and pry off the top off with the crowbar, but you can't get a grip. The lip between the lid and the chest is too small. Crowbar isn't gonna cut it here. We need a lock pick. Can we, 
Can we move this crate? Can we search these crates? No. Okay. Oh, fallen ladder. I think the ladder goes to the top floor. Oh, hey. Shortcut? Shortcut. Heck yeah, buddy. All right, let's, um, there's more stuff to do over here. But, oh, let's, um, before we do this, we still haven't talked to the guy in the chair. Let's go ahead and make some tools. We can make some pliers or make a lock pick. Uh, apparently we can't craft anything. You need tools every time you make something. Dang. Okay. Well, that's, um, that's good to know. So you gotta kind of have to pick your battles, I guess, when it term comes to coming up with solutions for puzzles. Let's talk to the prisoner. I can hear you walking around. Is that you again, you jerk? I'm not drinking any more of your crap. Come on, untie me already. Hey. Hi there. Who the hell are you? You're not the alchemist. Are you his assistant or something? I'll show you. Just untie my hands. Get ready for a world of hurt. The prisoner tries to break out of his shackles. Or more precisely, he pretends to try and break out of them. Seems like he's had more afraid of you than you are of him. The alchemist is long gone. I'm here on my own business. What other business is there? Why don't you just set me free, huh? How did you end up here? What do you think? Someone kidnapped me. What's the last thing you remember? Um, uh, I was at a bar. The cathedral, you know it? No. The owners paid a hell of a lot to have the guys from Reversi cre recreate St. Bernard's Cathedral. Nowadays, every jackass with some cash wants to recreate something. Prices there make your eyes water, but how many chances do you get to drink in a cathedral that hasn't existed for a thousand years? What kind of beer do you drink? What do you usually drink? How about we stay focused? <laughs> Confirmed, uh, Roderick is Kim Kitsuragi. Let's get back on track. Were you with anyone? Were you alone? At first, yeah, then some guy came and sat with me. The alchemist? Nah, probably some someone working for him. Said he was a scientist from some college or something. I don't know. That's all I remember. Then I woke up here. Why is your t-shirt full of holes? That asshole shot me. What asshole? Yeah, the alchemist freak. He was going on and on about all this weird stuff. He talked like he was from the Dark Ages or something. I couldn't understand most of what he said. So what, what did he do to you? He gave me some nasty drink. Tasted like... Ever, try, ever tried Orange Bowl? Trademark? Yes. Well, it tasted a lot like that. Was that product placement just now? Did they get paid to put that in the book? Come on, focus. Anyway, he forced that potion down my throat and then he shot me. I've never... I'd never pain like that before. I think we're missing a word there. It was like my whole body was... He shot you. You look at the shell casings on the table with 47 caliber bullets, but you're still alive. Hmm. Guess that never occurred to me. Examine the prisoner. A division t-shirt full of bullet holes. What does that tell us? If that's a band, I've never heard of them. Forget the band logo, the holes. He's, this shirt's full of holes. They tested the potion of immortality on him. Finally. Come on, untie me already. Remove the bag from the prisoner's head. You sure that's a good idea? Why not? I think your appearance might scare him. He'll get over it. Take the sack off his head. You slowly unwind the rope then pull the sack off the prisoner's head. Just don't panic. Oh my god, what the hell are you? I warned you. Hey, no, calm down. I'm human just like you. Well, almost. Are you an alien? No, I'm a writer. But that's not important. <laughs> Same thing. That's not important right now. Don't, don't distract me. What band is on your shirt? Oh, that. Uh, no idea. I took it from some guy. Leaving without saying anything. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. I just wanted to see if they had an updated picture of, like, what he looked like. Okay, um, well, let's go. Oh, the ladder can only be raised from above. Um, I guess we're done here. It was a bunch of, a bunch of extra stuff to let us know that that was a person that had been tested, successfully tested on. 
take out the key you found. About time. Let's go outside. This might be the end of the demo. Or at least I, I sense it coming up. The barrel is labeled supplies and ingredients for Alexander of Mishia's lab. It's empty. Anything else in here? Human skeleton. No head. That looks like another thing we can break down. You can feel wind blowing through the cracks between the bricks. Knock down with a hammer. Swing it into the bricks. Crunch. There we go. Sometimes you can just solve all your problems with force. An old note. Alexander of Mishia, the royal alchemist, has committed a brazen crime. The scoundrel brewed a potion for the king that he promised would grant him immortality, but it was, in fact, poison. I declare that the alchemist shall be, be beheaded and his diabolical lair shall be walled up. Advisor to the late King Esmond th III. We have blocked staircase. It's blocked. Cell door, anything in here? Stuff. Uh-oh. That is a that is a pretty cool effect, I gotta say. Containers full of random stuff, bricks and planks. Blueprint. Plan for rebuilding the jail from the what? We need we need uh we need text to fully appear on the screen, otherwise we, we can't read it all. More metal stuff. Uh nothing else. Outside door. The door leads outside. There isn't even a lock or anything. How am I supposed to open it? It only opens from the other side. They had no intention of letting the alchemist leave. What's the plan? Try using the crowbar. Try to pry the door open, but there's nothing for the crowbar to grip onto. The door is made of some kind of super smooth metal. Not a chance. You put the crowbar away. Hit it with a hammer. You raise the hammer and hit the door with all your strength. Bring! The hammer bounces off with a barely audible clang. Didn't even dent it. Well, it looks like we need acid. Seems like that's the thing that we need. And I, I guess that's what we're making with our ingredients. Red lead. You see, you can see thousands of small sparkling crystals. I mean, honestly, those look like ingredients for the immortality potion, but I'm assuming we're gonna, we're gonna wanna find the recipe for that. Aha. Vials, flasks, powders. Uh-oh. Oh, there's some acid. So where's the alchemist? I see see that hole in the wall? He left the jail while you were playing around with a key. He's on page 84 now. <laughs> Damn. You should probably hurry, or there might not be any potion left for you to deliver. What? Is he planning to drink it? You told me no spoilers. All oh, right. Okay, um, can't do anything without tools. I don't have anything there. Alchemy cauldron. You see an alchemy cauldron. There are various containers and books scattered around it. Judging by the smell, the last person to use this cauldron was making highly corrosive acid. Read the alchemy recipe book. Um, there are bookmarks all throughout the book. Guide to making acid. Uh, green salt, blue sulfur, red lead. Try to make acid. You have all the components. The rest should be easy. Um, green salt. The salt ignites, burning your face. Bah! What do you mean, be more careful? Check the notes again. Notes on salt. Never start with salt and never end with salt. Oh, okay, we, we've got a legit puzzle here. Lead before sulfur means you'll suffer. It seems to me we want to do sulfur, then salt, then lead. Let's read on lead. Stray drops of acid seem to have eaten pa away pages of most of Okay, try to make the acid. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Ah, uh, that, that was a misclick and it cost me health and that's really annoying. Okay. So what we, we need is sulfur, then salt, then lead. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks. Can we not leave through uh, this door? Puddle of acid. Someone melted the wall with caustic acid. It seeped through the floor and there's definitely no way through. Okay. We have a laptop. Chemical spattered laptop sp sits on the table. Do you know how to work this thing? I've come across them in books before. They're not complicated. Examine the desktop. Desktop wallpaper is an ancient portrait of a woman. A caption underneath it says Victoria Brominski, daughter of Esmond III Bremen Museum 1201. The only thing he has installed is a browser. That's it. A what? Doesn't matter. Open the browser. There are only two tabs open. First tab. Bremen burial sites, 12th century. He was looking for ancient burial sites, one to be exact. The grave of Victoria Brominski. She might have been his uh, lover. So that's where we, where he went in such a hurry to go resurrect her. That's why I keep telling you we have to hurry. But I mean, I wouldn't really mind letting him reunite with his lover. I don't have time for that. Second tab. Emails between him and his boss from a month ago. He was trying to convince them to give him a gun. He said it would make it easier to see whether or not the potion of immortality was working. Uh, for twas hard indeed spilling blood with a blade and most trying and foul business. How practical of him. So they let him use a gun in his, in his experiments? Since there is no way to escape his laboratory, I imagine this, his bosses didn't see a problem with them. You mean there was no way to escape, right? You look at the melted wall. Well, search history. Online driver's ed classes, plus a whole bunch of chemical names. To be fair, chemical has made great strides over the last thousand years. We have a bed. Bed is neatly made, like no one slept in it. Okay. Ladder is blocked with a metal beam. Can we move the beam? We can move the beam. There we go. So we can go downstairs. And uh, just a shortcut. Not a very good one, to be honest. And then we'll go and use the acid on uh, that one door. Um, kind of lost. That's not really a shortcut. All right, I think this it's over here. I feel like I'm going to need a map if things get much more complicated. Uh oh. Oh, geez. Okay, let's um. Let's do a stun. And I'm going to use this. Is this going to give us some? Yeah, that gives us full potion back. I'll do another stun just to get rid of the riffraff. And then we're just going to start wailing. If we had done three damage. I could have done a drain to kill them. Oh, ow. Well, we can kill them. That's that's fine. Ha ha ha. What a good way to overcome your fear of spiders fighting against... I told you I'm not afraid of spiders. You notice that your hands have stopped shaking. Well, in any case, now I'm definitely not afraid of them. Where do we go now? That metal door over there. Okay, well... Oh, we can get stuff from the pile of ashes. Did not know this. Wonder if I've missed anything. I guess we don't need to go into our inventory. Flash acid on the door. Papers on your head slowly shrivel and curl up. Well, if it worked for the alchemist, it'll work for us. Let's do it. Pour the potion on the door. We splash the contents of the flask over the door. Layer after layer, metal starts slough, uh, sloughing off and dripping onto the floor. Impressive. Now let's get out of here before we're swimming in this acid. Okay, but... Uh-oh. Did I just hear gunshots? Yes, and they were close. Hurry. 
Research Institute hallway. So we've now gone from like an Victorian era story to um, some kind of research facility. Uh oh, who's that? A dead wound or head wound? Dead wound. Stack of reports. You'd think that there would be more in this room. Oh, what, what was that? Filing cabinet. Does it? Oh, bullet casings. Three bullet casings. Uh oh. I think I'm going to want to eat some food. Forgotten symbol of an oath or status. We've got some ink. Probably I should make another bottle of ink. Uh oh. He's dead. Guard is already dead. Visitor reg registration book filled out in neat handwriting. Wow. That was him, the alchemist. Are you sure? Yeah, after him. Come on, we can take that taxi. Hurry, follow that car. The driver gapes at you in horror. <laughs> Damn, you should really pick a different appearance when you have to talk to people. Change your appearance. Use a few drops of ink. Your features slowly lose their definition. And your face morphs into a completely different one. What even is that? Hello! You smile at the driver. <laughs> He's the expression! <laughs> The driver's mouth slowly opens, and he utters a choked cry that sounds more like a rasp. Your transformation must have scared him even more. Push the driver out of the car. Ugh, we don't have time for this. The terrified driver offers barely any resistance. You get him in the driver's seat and hang Roderick's cage over the rearview mirror. Hurry, follow the alchemist. Let's roll. Wow. The alchemist slowly crawls towards the entrance of the cemetery. It looks like the crash broke his leg. In two places. And his arm. Almost there. Stand in his way. He needs medical help right away. His leg is broken and... Oh no, I don't have time for that. You walk up to the alchemist and start rummaging through his pockets. But you can't just leave him like this. I'm not here for him. You find the potion bottle in, his, in the right pocket of his coat. I'm here for this. You hold the murky potion up to the light and examine it. Well, that's done. Vic, Victoria, Victoria. I am not Victoria. My name is Etienne. I'm going after. He's talking about his lover. I'm almost there. The alchemist stubbornly continues crawling his way towards the cemetery. His lover is none of my concern. You do realize that if you take the potion, it'll disappear from the book forever, right? He succeeded in resurrecting his lover so many times over and over again. Every time somebody read the book, and this cycle will be broken. This son of a bitch literally killed dozens of people for the sake of his experiments. But he's still a human being. He's a character in a book written by someone. He's not alive. I'm sure there's enough of the potion to go around. My orders are clear. Bring back the potion. Not half a potion, or a third, or anything like that. But your orders don't say anything about it being full, right? I'm not risking fa uh, failing this job just to save a fictional character. You do understand that the alternative to what I'm doing right now is literally 30 years of hard labor, right? Not every writer survives that, and those that, that do almost never go back to writing. That's what I have to look forward to. And I still say that we should at least... You shove the cage into your pocket, which muffles Roderick's voice. All you hear from him now is faint grumbling. That's enough from you. I don't intend to lose what I have for the sake of a character. Take the whole potion and leave, or risk it all and split the potion in half. And I'll take the potion. Can I really just leave the alchemist here to die? I mean, he is just a character. Who also killed all dozens of other others to make this potion. But I guess it's really the author's fault for writing him this way. And the character himself is innocent. Roderick mumbles something from your pocket. 
I feel like the game really wants me to split the potion or at least think about this for more than uh, what is a, an impulse. All right, sure, split the potion, fine. You stride over to the trash can and find an almost empty soda bottle inside. This will have to work. Pour out what's left. Drink it. Pour out, pour out what's left. Nah, drink it. What the heck? It's flat and unpleasant tasting. But you pour half the potion of immortality into the empty bottle, which is still sticky from the sugary soda. Then you give the original bottle back to the alchemist. As you're about to hand the potion over, your bad knee makes a horrible cracking sound, much louder and stronger than before. Crunch. Damn you. You suck in a breath. The bottle tumbles out of your hand. Time seems to slow down. Watch out! A choked, muffled cry from inside your pocket. The potion continues its flight, and you fling your hand out, but there's no way you'll get there fast enough. The potion bottle makes a clinking sound as it lands on the alchemist's head. Ow! clinks again as it bounces off him and you flies back up into your hand what is happening what the hell that's not how physics works i guess i should probably see a doctor about my knee you finally give the other half of the potion to the alchemist the spark returns to his eyes and he reaches up to take the potion and with a trembling hand the one that isn't injured leave the book I assume that if I had taken the bottle that I would have a, a you know more alchemy looking bottle to hand over we'll see if this uh actually works out what is this oh I see this is uh like you finish the mission and we're done now I think the courier is waiting for me downstairs Did you get the item? Yes. Put the briefcase in the doorway. Do not step outside the door. All right. Oh, we have we have an actual animated arm. Here's your payment. We will be in touch. Okay. I need to get some sleep now. I'm exhausted. Hello? What? What did you deliver to me? The potion of immortality, just like you ordered. No, this is half the potion of immortality. And it's in an, in an old soda bottle to boot. I just thought... But it's still the potion, though, right? I just wanted to make sure the alchemist could... You're fired. Oh, good. Damn. Is that game over? They didn't take the portrait of Frederick. Guess they thought it was a fake. Well... I wonder how they're gonna... Continue this. You can live here now... Uh, he live here for now, partner. A month later. I feel like I didn't get enough sleep. You slept for a month, my dude. <laughs> That's a joke. I know. I know. They didn't literally sleep for a month. Oh, yeah. I threw in a few ideas for my skills. Oh. We have a uh, character progression. Unlock the upgrade shield. I do really like the look of this game. I don't know if it's a, a very deep game, but I don't care. I, I like where they're going with it. Hello. Oh, you finally. Mr. Quist. Etienne Quist. Oh, yes. I'm calling from the writer's police department. This is a scheduled call. Uh, okay. 
Have you selected the publishing agency where you will serve your sentence? Not yet. Uh, not yet. I'm still deciding. You do plan to begin working off your sentence, right, Mr. Quist? Uh, yes, of course I do. I just wanted to take a little break before. We urge you to choose a publisher quickly. We also recommend Morak as the most suitable publisher for you. Under your breath, sure, of course. You have the opportunity to shorten your sentence to 28 years if you can prove yourself to the management. Next question. Have you associated with any other writers since you, your arrest? No. No, I know it's not allowed. Very well. One last question. Have you engaged in any illegal activity in the past month? Of course not. Noted. Do you confirm that your responses to this survey have been truthful? Yes. Thank you for your time. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye. New book announcement. Andre Duval wanted to live a quiet life, get a good job, start a family, build a small house in the suburbs. But suddenly he finds himself involved in a deadly game of survival staged by aliens. And the prize for winning is no less than the elixir of immortality. I'm beginning to sense a theme. A brilliant novel full of live action that literally spills off the pages right into the reader's face. God, what absolute trash. Hello? Hi, Rich. Can you take another order? Oh, it's you. Another order. I'm ready. Ah, damn, you're not rich. Sorry, wrong number. Oh. God damn it. Hello? Yes? But you know, it's not a big one, so I guess I can give you one more chance. Thank you. Besides, I haven't been able to get in touch with my most in incompetent walker. You'll make a good replacement for him. Stay silent. The order is at your door. So what I'm going to do, since this is now an hour and uh, hour long video, is I'm going to take a quick peek at this next book and then end it there. It seems like a good place to uh, kind of cliffy hangy. Spark hammer. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to look at the terms of the arrangement first. I also probably should have grabbed Roderick. Oof. Damn, sure is icy here. You look around. You there, Roderick? Yeah. Oh, I guess I have Roderick. Remind me what we're looking for. Some kind of hammer. Hold on, I'll check the book. Got it, right here. We're looking for the hammer of Thor. And let's get to it. Oh, I guess that's the end of the demo. Well, that seems like a good place. I, they, they, the devs had exactly the same thought as I did. Um, all right, so The Bookwalker. Not exactly the kind of game I expected, but a good one nonetheless. It's definitely got uh, a few influences on its sleeve, and um, I think they're, they're all pretty good. I mean, the art is fantastic, and it's like a blend of three different kind of genres. Um, I will, would be interested to see if they maybe... It, it, well, I mean, it comes out in two days, so... Um, I guess this is pretty final. We can't expect too much change in, uh, in this game. But, I mean, maybe as you play the game, maybe the combat gets a little bit deeper. Um, but for now, it, it feels more on the point-and-click adventure side of things um, than anything else. But uh, I think this this holds a lot of promise. I'd be I'd be very interested in playing more of this. But the book, the book walker, have you tried the demo? If you have, let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.